What, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dre. And Mr. Girl Cash. And we back with another video, okay. gang, man. Hey, y'all been requesting that we own it, gang, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to that boy CJ the champ. We got Sakuna, Return of the Dog. Now, if y'all new, hit the subscribe button, man. Make sure y'all cut that bell on. The rest of the family, y'all already know the dudes of the video. Get mm -hmm. the snacks, man. Let's go. And after this, Sakuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like, hey, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this rock tuna shit? Oh, shoot. Ah. Get this out of my face. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Dang. back to the Shibuya Trials Round 2. And ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making, and it Word. starts now. Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5'8", weighing about 180 pounds of pure dog. dog. He is one of the most disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk on earth. And his ignorance knows no bounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally, and it is now time for the return of the dog. But without further ado, oh my god, I killed my voice doing that shit. Exhibit A! Ryomen Sukuna, a tyrant in the Jujutsu world dated all the way back to a thousand years ago. Once a human turned into the king of curses, he was rumored to have four arms and two faces, and he was such a dog-ass nigga. They gave him the name Sukuna, but then he was defeated and not to return ever again. Until a 15-year-old boy decided to decode one of his fingers and let the dog off of the leash once again. And now we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exhibit A. The calm before the storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past. And I said I would finish this off after the Shibuya incident. And now it's finally time. But since we have a new ranking system, we need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, and we want to speed run this up. Get it. ready up. Itadori is being attacked by a curse, so his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty ass, disgusting ass finger, therefore bringing Sukuna back to the mortal plane and one shot the cursed spirit. But later on, Gojo pops up and sadly whoops his ass. He fully attacks him, to be honest. Like, he, he literally sat on the nigga, and Sukuna takes a L. Next, Sukuna fights a cursed womb and beats the absolute piss out of him as he was stomping on his face, ripping off his arm, then proceeds to use malevolent shrine and Bruh. shits to Bob the nigga. Damn. Shortly Jeez. after that, he decides to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the shit out of Megumi. A generational ass whooping if I have to say for myself. As he threw him, then proceeded to juggle God, his ass damn. throughout the entire city. Hitting him with aerial after aerial, then spiking him through a fucking hotel. And finally, violating Yuji in his own body, disrespecting him in his own body, then killing him and taking his body as hostage. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I almost <laughs> forgot, he made Mahito shit his pants. Bro touched his soul Damn. and said, Don't you ever touch my soul ever again, you dirty ass nigga. Know your place, trash. Then damn near killed him and put bro on his knees and made him wallop in like excruciating pain. And now we've caught up to the present. And with all the previous actions already added up from stage one, all I'm gonna just say is, this man's final ranking is going to be fucking terrifying. Oh, yeah. We now move on to October 31st, yeah. 2018. Okay. On the gruesome night of the Shibuya incident, we will now be observing these two dumbass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these two idiots decide to shove one of Sukuna's fingers down Itadori's throat to try to get him to come out. What the fuck are you dumbass hoes doing? Like seriously, did you think this plan was not coming inside? And then Jungle comes spreading down the hallway like, what the hell is going on here? Wait, wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my god, we're about to tell you. Yeah, back the fuck up, fuckface. So Jungle decides to just burn him, walk over to Ichidori's body, and pulls out ten fingers, and he's 
thing is, the streets say you're the throat goat, little nigga. So go ahead and swallow all these up for me. And I ain't gonna lie, this is about to sound crazy, what? but Joko shoves two fingers down this nigga's throat. Like, bruh, that shit is just nasty as fuck. Right. And this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. Uh, but now, somehow this nigga survived. So Joko's about to burn him again. But right before he's about to do it again, he ends up realizing, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck did my hair go? You have zero oh. point zero one seconds to get your dirty ass hands off of me. This man Joko bags off fast as fuck. And these niggas is shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, Wait. Uh, uh, what y'all scared for? Oh my god, girl! Oh my god! Then Joko's all ugly ass looking at him like, Oh, Jesus, I think I'm gonna shit myself. So Sukuna walks over and tells him, Those oh, bastard, on your knees now. And they drop to their knees fast as hell. I broke the way air blade at him. Nigga made him hit the cha cha slide, bro. I said, <laughs> so then he asked yeah. the girls first, Hey, right, what the fuck y'all want? And this little girl is having a panic attack. She crying and shit, she don't know what to say. The Sukuna in the background like, Come on now, hurry up, oh, time's a waste it. So she ends up asking him to save Ghetto from a certain person controlling his body, which I'm not going to say because I do not know if the anime has revealed that yet. But... You start seeing they backstory, bruh. And y'all know damn well what happens when you start hearing some emotional ass music with a damn backstory playing in the background. Right. But Zukuna says, yeah, I raise your heads. So they raise their heads. Yes, you can do that. Oh. oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, these hoes are stupid as Yo. shit. And the other girls come like, oh my God. Oh my God. What you doing? The head off. And this man Sukuna like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. So she trying to hit him with her selfie power. She like, to put you on Twitter and cancel your ass. But bro just slices off her frontal lobe. What wrong with her? Just, what wrong your with friend her? just got her head blown off. And you gonna pull out your phone and, and give it. Come on, man. What, 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 what you thinking? What wrong for real? Going on? Cancel your ass. But bro just slices off her frontal lobe. And she just put in a blender. Out of here. And after this, Sukuna grabs her phone. And he started looking at it like, Hey, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this frog tuna shit? <laughs> Get this shit out my face. So then he turns to Jogo and asks, all right, what you want? So Jogo says, well, um, to be honest, I just want to scrap with you. Uh huh? Uh -huh. Well, you know, niggas would call you a fraud coon lately. <laughs> okay, where the fuck did this shit come from? <laughs> Whatever. So Sukuna ends up making a deal with this man. He ends up telling him, if you land one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jogo ends up accepting the fight, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. That's nigga, a bad this was idea. a generational ass woman. Beating the shit out of this nigga. Chopping up his arms, blocking every punch, cutting off his fingers, then threw him across the city like a rag ball. God ball, damn. And this is his head through the fucking ground. They only been fighting for like 20 seconds and Bro's already knocked the fuck out. So Jogo goes full on. Crack that tower! He's flooding everything with magma. He's got the whole city looking like Crisis City right now. Got Sukuna's ass tiptoeing back. Doctor with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. Oh. But Bro busts out of it, posing, thinking what? he's Jesus. So Jogo's like, Ugh. Yeah, you see the pose? No, right. Posing, thinking he's like, Jesus. Like, Jesus. So Jogo's yeah. like, Ugh. And Sukuna comes from the side and pause, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Whoever Definitely animated is. this little split second, crazy. nigga, <laughs> you cooked. So bro no. the skyscraper and starts bouncing his ass like a basketball. And Junko's just floating in the air thinking, oh my god. What you got to come into? not a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts slamming through this damn skyscraper. Oh. Dear god, nigga, this shit was just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just fucked. Teeth Damn. missing and everything. This man Sukuna was talking hella shit. He said, Wow, with the moonlight shining on you, it really shows how pussy you are. But then he ends up picking up his body and tells him, Nigga, you ain't shit. Now I'm gonna keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Damn! Oh, boy. <laughs> Then nigga say I'm gonna keep on beating until I'm satisfied. I know he was. She never got him so good at that. Hey, you, hey, that Get him all them damn fingers. Damn right. Now I'm gonna keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my god, I can't do this shit. 
shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, well, keep Superman doing it. Superman ends up doing some of the most pettiest shit. Well, this man skating backwards looking like Shadow the Hedgehog while Jungle's chasing him with a meteor. And meanwhile, Kusakabe and Panda are trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out of the blast radius. Well, while they run and Sukuna comes in and stops them. And he got everybody shook. So he said, all right, everybody, let's play a game. We're going to play the motherfucking squid game. I don't not like squid. green light, nigga. You do not move until I say green light. Oh, yeah. damn. Nah, this is just petty. Bro is really Bad. out here just playing with his he food. Playing. So Jojo thinks he hit him. Well, Sukuna's just literally over in the corner sitting crisscross applesauce. Bro, Bad idea. Said, Jesus, man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, aim last is free, buddy. But tragically, it was over for Joko. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into Katniss Everdeen with this damn fireboat and starting to have a high noon old western standoff. And what's funny about this, they don't even show the shot. This instantly goes oh. into Jogo's head, and he's talking to his dead friends like, Guys, I'm sorry. Damn. The allegations were false. <laughs> that no fraud. Yeah, but then Sukuna's just looking know. at him from the back, and he tells him, Stand yeah. proud. You are I, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just cuts to Jogo spreading corpse. I go lie, I feel bad for bro. Bro really got thrown like a rag doll and beaten to a pulp Jeez. in his last like five minutes of life. Okay. Damn. This shit did me a trial. Two. Exhibit a wrap sure up. Did. Murder. Murder. Him Attempted murder. Invasion of privacy. Attempted murder. Yeah. Murder. Murder! Murder! <laughs> right. Mass property damage. Oh, okay. Exhibit B. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for Exhibit B. And what might be the most outrageous Exhibit B I've ever done? Collateral damage. Oh. And after this is over, you will clearly understand why I named it this. Because this number right here is about to go through the fucking roof. Dang. It is now time to observe the fight with Maharada and how Sukuna once again decided to play with his food. So they start fighting and Sukuna's already popping off on his ass, cutting him up and everything. But then they go fly. And this motherfucker walks out drinking a diet Come on, coke man. And just chopping up some popcorn. My bro is disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels. And he just eating the popcorn like, holy oh, lit, this is disgusting. No salt and no butter for $15? <sighs> must be from AMC. The bro gets mad as hell and just continues to bully my father. Or cut him into pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger in his hood. And look at the JoJo reference, these boys is cooking. And after Sukuna wins a clash, he wraps Bro up and throws him into another building. The so as we can see, Sukuna's whooping this thing's ass. Like, Bro looks like he's just having fun. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to focus on the true meaning of this exhibit. In Newsflash, it's not the fight. The true focus of this exhibit is the amount of innocent people that lost their life in this fight. Cause, oh my god. You know what? Pause this video right now and go get a calculator or open the fucking app on your phone. Cause we about to make this shit interactive as a bitch. We just gonna try oh, yeah, to estimate the tally of how many people died in this fight. Starting off, boom, they go flying into this room. Let's get the calculator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They all get sliced up and god, Sukuna damn. just blows up the room. Twelve already. Damn. Right. Blood stains everywhere and he's putting Maharaga on his ass. And then this is how you can see that Sukuna's just fucked around this entire fight. This nigga's just juggling his big ass with aerials and grabs a crane, turns into Tarzan, and drop kicks him. No. Damn. Kick, the damage that he just caused is unreal. Look at this. It's a literal car avalanche going on right now. Right. Look at all these people what? in the frame. I count 14 people in this frame, and that is a poor, innocent little girl oh. hanging out to her mother. And you know damn well they ain't make it out there. Add 14. Yeah, Next, no. this whole building is falling down, and these people are hanging on for their life. This nigga <laughs> grip straight his ass, and he falls off. And I estimate there is at least 25 people on that roof. And look at the building falling. You know they did. And then this is where this starts to get really OD. So Maharaja gets Sukuna with a train and throws him all the way into this building. And while he's on his ass, Sukuna jumps up and splits the entire building in half. And just look at all these people, bro. Death. 
going to split the entire Bloody. rolling buildings. That's at least 100 bodies, man. Yeah. This is where we start to see the chaos on a full scale. Maharaja threw a building at this man, and he cut it into pieces while sitting on a traffic light and just started making no. the debris yeah. just cut it into pieces while what? sitting what? on what? a traffic light traffic and light. just started making the debris just rain while he's just he taking a bow and enjoying the chaos. Look at this one. This is ridiculous. Nigga, is that a plane? Ooh, I know oh, Boeing is having a fit right now. And if that's <laughs> what I think it is, a Boeing 737, and it was at full capacity, that's about 200 bodies, bro. Damn. Boy. And look what Sukuna does to this man. Bro said, Get back, nigga! And the entire city is being sliced up right now. And Sukuna's ready to end this. Ooh. Bro's finally done playing with his food again. So he ends up activating Malevolent Shrine. And before he even shoots, you just look at all these people, bro. Just about to have a gruesome fate. These poor girls are here like, oh my god, girl, what is all that noise? Uh, I don't know. Let me check Twitter. Oh my god, girl, they dropped the GTA 6 <laughs> trailer. Yes, bitch! But oh, sadly, yeah. these girls ain't even get to watch the trailer. Sukuna uses Malevolent Shrine and just watches Maharaja. Everything just gets obliterated. Anybody in a 200 meter radius were just not survive. And this nigga's just smiling like, oh yes. And then Sukuna finally finishes Maharaja off. Bro hit him with that. With everybody else. And wiped this fucking Damn. off the map. So after Zukuna just made a crater and caught shit, I don't yeah. know. A lot of bodies, man. This is near the Shibuya crossing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to just say a thousand bodies, bro. And then after this, oh, yeah. Haruta's dumbass. Right. And he survived like, oh my god, I get to see another game. It just gets well, yeah, weird. <laughs> Adam Bro really thought he was a main antagonist. So right. after this, Sukuna continues to be petty. So he realizes, oh shit, I'm out of time. So to be just a complete asshole, he walks over to the crater and is like, yeah, this'll do. Let the little nigga see what I did. And swaps back out with Yuji and just traumatizes the kid. Make the little nigga just have a whole breakdown. And I know he's just laughing inside of his head like, enjoy it, kiddo. Now play that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> and with yeah. that, Jesus, man, tally up the damn score. Hey, that's it. And ladies right. and gentlemen, that completes the Shibuya Trials. And since y'all showed insane support on that last oh, video, so I had to come back and give this y'all, man. So, hey, thank y'all so much, bro. And until we meet again in, like, I don't know, two weeks or some shit, stay frosty, <laughs> nigga. Hey. Over the line. Savage. Up there. I think hey, that's a demon. More than Black Force energy on that. Right. That's, 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 that's why he got something sure. different right there. Hell yeah. Bro. Damn. That's what I did. All that. Yeah. Destroy a whole city. And About then, damn near this. And niggas sitting on the damn traffic light, dog. Sitting on the traffic, the traffic light, just, light. Just destroying shit. Like, it. what? The return of the dog. That was the return of the dog for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, if y'all no, enjoyed this, they should have return of the demon. <laughs> for real, thanks. Return of the damn demon, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave us comments down below. We appreciate all y'all support. Y'all for kicking it with us when we react to this, man. Mm -hmm. Just let us know what other videos y'all want us to react to too. Y'all know we on it, gang. We catch y'all next video. Catch y'all next one.